It's fall, y'all. Today's episode of the Sammy Cone Show represents a time of reflection and action as we transition to one of my favorite seasons. We start today's show by examining different health care coverage options, including how to save money even if you're not currently insured. Then I'll share tips on how to get the most out of the upcoming Amazon Prime Day. Next, I'm talking to the author of Spookly the Square Pumpkin about how to prevent bullying, along with some fun alternatives for Halloween this year. And finally, I'm teaching you how to make and freeze my famous homemade chicken stock. So put on a cozy sweater, grab a mug of chai, and get ready to learn something new because this is the Sammy Cohn Show. From the News Channel 5 Network, this is the Sammy Cohn Show, sponsored by Soundwaves at Gaylord Opryland. Healthcare has been such an important topic, especially in 2020. So today I wanted to break down some of the options before you, possibly reevaluate your current plan or look at why a healthcare sharing ministry may be a better option for you, even if you already have insurance. So I brought in a friend and an expert, Sharita Bent, to talk through all of this with us. Welcome, Sharita. Hi, how are you? Thank you. <laughs> I am so glad that you are able to kind of break through the noise for us and talk through, especially this year where we're in the middle of a pandemic. Why is this such an important topic now in particular? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having us, Sammy. Yeah. You know, we just love you and your audience so much. I think healthcare right now, we all know the system is sort of broken when you're dealing with insurance. It's hard for people to navigate and understand. And we just wanted to share that there are other options. You know, um, healthcare sharing is a really viable option. We're a vibrant community that's growing and thriving. And so just wanting to let people know if you don't like what you have, you know, as far as healthcare, you got other options. Absolutely, and I always tell people it's important to reevaluate your plans, whether we're talking about a magazine subscription or insurance, because you, you need to really know what's happening in these current times. Let's, let's talk about savings. That's why people come to me. You can save up to 50% with a healthcare sharing uh, ministry like MediShare. How is that possible? Yeah, so with MediShare in particular, our members save up to 50%, and some of them save more than that. Um, we've had many uh, members who come, and they cut their premiums in half. And so, you know, maybe they were paying 1700 before, right. you know, with insurance, and then they joined MediShare and they cut that in half. And we're able to do that for uh, several different reasons. One, we have patented technology that really helps, you know, enable healthcare sharing. So it's secure, it's seamless. We're also a nonprofit, mm. so we don't have, you know, like shareholders or a board of directors who are making decisions. We really just exist to serve our members. That's it's incredible. And I think there's some myths that go around. You know, you think about having to go to a doctor, negotiate a rate and get reimbursed. That's not the case with MediShare, though. Tell us more. Correct. Yeah, correct. With uh, MediShare, we negotiate and take care of all of the bill sharing. We do that for our members. So when you go to the doctor, you just show your MediShare card and we take care of everything else. It's really seamless. That's not the case with other healthcare sharing ministries, but with MediShare, it's very seamless. Um, also, we um, you don't have to pay up front. Um, some you know healthcare sharing ministries, it's self-pay. You have to pay everything up front, and then you have to wait to get reimbursed. So we have a really uh, seamless, you know, easy process for our members. That's really technologically relevant. You know, that's really comforting. And another thing that's comforting is that you have, is this right, unlimited telehealth and even telemental health? Because I know so many people are afraid mm -hmm. just to go to the doctor, right? Because they're afraid they'll get something worse if they go. So what sure. are the telehealth options available? Yes, we have unlimited telehealth, which means you can access board certified providers wow. from your home, from your car, you know, anywhere. And most of the time you can get treatment, get a prescription um, in less than like 30 minutes and it's unlimited and it doesn't cost you anymore. So that's another way our members save money. And then same thing with telemental health, you know, access to professional counselors who can serve and support your mental health 
wellness. And I'll say, you know, we've been around since 1993 and we've been, you know, in the telehealth, you know, in the telehealth uh, space. For some people, it's newer and they're maybe beta testing or, you know, just stepping into it. But we've, we've really mastered it. So our members really do enjoy those features as well. Well, and I just, you know, I think mental health is now becoming normalized, thankfully, you know, that people are realizing yeah. because we've been at home, but this is something that has been so important. And now to have unlimited access to that is just something that I love about MediShare. Another thing I love is the community aspect of it, that it reflects mm -hmm. my values, that you've got that support system. Uh, we've got about a minute left, but can you just talk a little bit about that yeah. and the member voted guidelines? Yes, absolutely. That's another thing. Our members love how much they can save. Um, they change their lives with the savings. But when you can connect with other believers who can pray for you, support you, encourage you, and you know, members are able to connect to whatever degree that they feel feel comfortable. We don't share any, you know. Uh, private information or protected medical sure. information, but we support one another and pray for each other. And then our member voted guidelines, our member voice is what matters. And so when you're in MediShare, you're a part of creating the community. You know exactly where your dollars are going because you have a voice and um, that determines what's eligible for sharing is our guidelines. And that's also a unique factor for MediShare. Oh, Sharita, thank you for just yes. <laughs> clearing through the noise, for breaking it down. I, I just feel like we've really been able to equip our audience. If you want more information, make sure you go to metashare.com backslash Sammy Cone or Sammy hyphen Cone. You can also text Sammy, that's S-A-M-I, to 474747 to learn how you too can save up to 50% off. Thank you so much, Sharita. It's been a pleasure as always to speak with you. Thank you. Have a blessed day. We'll be right back. With Amazon Prime Day just around the corner, I just wanted to sit and have a little talk with you about how to make the most of all the Prime deals available this year. Because what I'm hearing is that we're not going to see as big of a Black Friday. And because of all of the things that have been happening in our society, you really don't want to wait until right before the holidays to do your shopping. So here's what you need to know. First of all, Amazon Prime Day is actually two days. It's happening October 13th and 14th. So what do you need to know? Well, you need to be an Amazon Prime member, but don't worry if you're not. You can actually sign up for their free 30-day trial and still take advantage of the Amazon Prime Day savings. So that's the first thing to do. Sign up to be an Amazon Prime member. The next thing that you need to know is that there's a lot of early savings going on. So for example, I just shopped with Whole Foods. As long as you spend $10 or more, you're going to get $10 to spend on Amazon Prime Day. Likewise, if you spend $10 on Amazon Books, you can also get $10 to spend on Amazon Prime Day. Plus, if you want to support small businesses, you can shop at some of their curated um, businesses. And again, spend $10, you'll get $10 to spend. So there's lots of things going on in advance of the actual Prime Day deals. But speaking of, one of the things I like to do to really know what they're going to be you know, offering, because there's more than a million deals that they're going to have, is to look at the best of the previous year. So I'm going to link on SammyCone.com to some of the top deals from 2019. No surprise, the Amazon um, products, devices themselves, like the Echo Dot, are some of the best deals. In fact, you can get two Echo Dots right now for $39.98. Things like Fire Stick or the Fire TVs are some of the other deeply discounted items you'll find. But interestingly enough, things like avocados and fresh flowers were really big deals during last year's Amazon Prime Day. So just think a little bit beyond what you would normally buy, but other items you're gonna want to look up for is 40% off off of Amazon's kind of household essentials, things like winter clothing, women's jackets, uh, boots, those types of things are going to be really popular as well. Plus, they're really wanting you to stay an Amazon Prime member, so they're offering 99 cents for Amazon Music Unlimited for four months, things like Amazon Prime Video, photos, all of those things are wrapped into Amazon Prime. So they're hoping you'll come for the deals, but then stay for all of the benefits that they're offering as well. Now I know this is a lot, <laughs> I'm throwing a bunch at you, but I want you to be prepared. So another great tip before I leave you is to make sure you create your own wish list. So go ahead and curate things that you want to see, plus go ahead and download the app because then you can get personalized deals sent right to your phone. And that way you're not scrambling when Amazon Prime Day hits. So sign up for Amazon Prime, go ahead and download the app, 
pick out some of the things that you might already want and put them in your cart or actually create a wish list for them so you know what to look at the day that Amazon Prime Day hits. Head again, head over to SammyCone.com. I'll break it all down for you so that you can save big this year. For almost 20 years, we have been reading aloud and rallying around a little pumpkin that looks different from his friends. And since this season is looking different, I'm so excited to talk to my next guest, the author and creator of Spookly the Square Pumpkin, Joe Troiano. Welcome, Joe. Hi, Sammy. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm so excited to talk to you. Uh, you know, our kids, even though they're teenagers, still love Spookly. Can you just tell us a little bit about how Spookly came to be and, and what he stands for? It's sure. Uh, Spookly started out as my son Nicholas's bedtime story one Halloween a long time ago. We were out trick-or-treating, and the group of kids we were with just kept leaving him behind. and. Mm -hmm no matter how quickly he tried to catch up, they would just go quickly. And of course, he made a very sad Halloween for him. And when he got home, he was upset. And at bedtime, he wanted me to tell him a bedtime story, but a, a happy Halloween bedtime story. And I said, well, what's happy on Halloween? And he said, pumpkins. <laughs> you know, pumpkins aren't scary. They're funny. They're sweet. Tell me a story about pumpkins. So. I made up a story about a little square pumpkin who, like Nick, sometimes didn't fit in and eventually learns that being different can make all the difference in the world and that we're all different. And he manages to save the day. Yeah, I'm so glad that you had that, not the experience that Nick had, but that you were willing to share that experience with all of us through the Spookly the Square Pumpkin books, because I think we've all felt that way. And now, almost 20 years later, Spookly is the national spokes pumpkin for National yeah. Bullying Awareness and Prevention Month. I mean, did you ever imagine that it would come to this? No, no, certainly not. And it's it's a thrill and a surprise. I mean, I, I think we knew we had something special that evening because it just felt so right. And I knew how it affected Nick. It certainly made Nick's bedtime happier. And I think as Nick grew older, he could appreciate that his story, which isn't unique, mm -hmm. has helped other children who at times, you know, feel out of place. And, and he's very proud of it, I think. And, you know, he's a grown up now and a certified first responder, and we're very proud of him. Wow, as you should be. You know, there's something that you've said, or Spookly has said, that, uh, you know, really stands with me. And it says, the end of bullying begins with you. Can you break that down for us a little bit? And for people, you know, whether you have kids or don't have kids, there's an important message behind that. Yeah, I think it's important that we realize that, you know, one person can make a difference. Mm -hmm. And one act of kindness even a random act of kindness can change someone's life forever, a stranger's life. And you never know when that moment's going to come. And when you do something or say something that absolutely affects someone, and you may not even know you did it. And I think that's a part of what PACER, which is the group you're talking about, so much emphasizes, you know, when they say, speak up, reach out, be a friend, yeah. because bullying involves more than the bully and the person being bullied, it involves everyone in a crowd or anyone who's watching. And, you know, you can be involved, you can be part of the solution. And if find someone, speak up. And if you can't help, go find an adult who can help. And always try to be a friend to someone who needs a friend. And you'll know those situations. And I think it's important to know that it ends with you. Each individual can help this situation. Absolutely. I mean, there couldn't be a more poignant time for this message when things are looking a little differently. Halloween is looking a little bit differently this year, but I'm excited to share about a really unique event that's happening at one of my family's favorite vacation destinations. Gaylord Opryland Resort is offering Goblins and Giggles now through October 31st. It's a really unique event that's happening and what people can experience when they go there is uh, jack-o'-lantern walks, trick-or-treating experience trails, 
Falls. Uh, there's the Delta Flatboat rides that people know, even a spook easy for the adults, even spooky animal encounters. And right now you can get packages starting at $245 that include two of the uh, Hayden, uh, the scavenger hunt booklets featuring Spookly the Square Pumpkin. And there's so much more. So I really encourage people to check out GaylordOprelandResort.com. Joe, any final words on how to talk to parents right now about you know Halloween looking differently this year? Well, I think everything is, is different this year. And I think it'll involve a lot of celebrating at home, which, which almost has started a few years ago. I think people started having much more controlled Halloween parties at home and you know, you know, not what we did as kids. I'm from the Bronx. We went down, you know, block after block. But I think you can take advantage of being at home and make it a fun, different spin on the holiday and get everyone involved. Yeah. And in fact, your audience should know if they go to pacer.org mm -hmm. that there are a lot of spooky download activity sheets and ideas and things that can help them get through a, a difficult Halloween that you know, who knows, next year they may want to do it again, even if they don't have to. Absolutely. Joe, thank you for sharing this beautiful and important message, for sharing all the free resources. And of course, if you want to celebrate a unique Halloween experience with goblins and giggles, go to GaylordOpryland.com. Joe, thank you so much for joining us on The Sammy Cohn Show. Listen, thank you so much for, for having me and have a happy, healthy, and safe Halloween, everybody. Yes, Thanks, Sammy. You too. You're welcome. We'll be right back. One of the recipes I get asked about most is my homemade chicken stock because not only is it great for health buffs, but it's also a great basic for the base of so many soups. And what do we love in the fall? Making soups. So let me get right into this. We're going to start with a whole chicken. Now I love using, you know, the best chicken that you can afford. Uh, Purdue Farms is one of my favorites. They've got great organic chickens that you can actually send straight to your home. And I'm going to give you a special code for you all later. But I want to tell you, even if you want to start with the chicken you've cooked already, this is something that we cooked for dinner and I had taken the chicken breasts off. We use that for something else later and you're just going to break this down. So even if you were to get a rotisserie chicken, you can still use that and you're just going to put this straight into the pot. That's all there is to it. It doesn't have to be pretty because this is going to come out later. Now, if you wanted to make a chicken noodle soup with a whole chicken, then leave the breasts on. You're going to take those out about halfway through. So now you're going to take whatever vegetables you honestly have lying around in your fridge but the basics that I like to use are carrots and celery so you're going to do about four carrots that are peeled and then you're going to roughly chop about four stalks of celery I should have done this a little closer to me but you get the gist and again this is just for flavor so it doesn't have to be done pretty we're just going to get all of those great flavors. You're going to take two onions and you're not going to peel these. I know it sounds funny. I'm going to tell you why in just a second, but you're going to roughly chop two onions and then one clove of garlic. So we've got this. We're going to pretend we did that into the pot and your garlic, sorry, a head of garlic, not a clove. So the head of garlic, you're going to take and just split in half and drop right in. Now the other thing I will say, you can do this with so many different vegetables, honestly, whatever is laying around. Usually I will put parsley stems in. I happen to have cilantro because we just had taco night. So I'm gonna cut off the stems of the cilantro and add those in as well. So typically we would do the other onion as well. You're gonna take one tablespoon of peppercorns and one tablespoon of kosher salt. Now what I didn't tell you is to get the biggest stock pot you have because this is going to go far and you want to get as much stock as possible. After you do that, you're going to literally fill it up with water to the top, almost to the top. You want to give it a little room to boil and you're just going to simmer this. So we're going to fill this up all the way, okay? We're going to pretend that's filled and you're going to put it on simmer. So we're going to take this for about three hours. Now after about 20 minutes or so after it's been bubbling, you're going to want to take a spoon and skim some of um, what comes off, what's kind of the froth on the top. That's where you can get off some of the dirt from the onions, any of the fat. 
but that's going to want to come off the top. And if you do have a whole chicken in here, that's when you take that off and actually go ahead and take off those breasts to save for your soup later. Now, what's amazing through the miracle of <laughs> modern TV is that after about three hours, you're going to use either a strainer, okay, to pour it into a new pot and get out all of the vegetables, or you can even, like I said, just use a, something like this to skim and get those vegetables out. And you're gonna end up with a pot of stock that looks like this. And I don't know, I wish you could smell this, but the color of this is a really deep and rich brown. And like I said, it, it gives away, it's gonna reduce by almost half. And that's why you want to use a really good quality chicken. Um, like I was mentioning, those Purdue Farms chickens, actually, if you, if you go to purduefarms.com, com slash Sammy Cone, you're going to be able to save 10% off and look, anything that can be delivered to my house these days, I want to go for that. And so you can either use the code Sammy Cone 10 to get that 10% off and they have all of the things that you love about Purdue, but even more offerings than you would find in the store. So make sure you check out PurduePharms.com backslash Sammy Cone. Now the trick to this is that you can then take this and store it. So you can just take your measuring cup and put it right into the mason jars if you know you're gonna be using it soon. Or what I like to do is take these, let's move this out of the way here, silicone trays, and I will freeze them in half cup increments and then put them into a Ziploc baggie that says chicken stock. And because these are typically about a half cup, now this is just water here, but because these are about a half cup, I use these then to cook my rice, again, to cook soups, to cook um, our famous shrimp scampi recipe. You can do that and not have to freeze a whole large, you know, four cup gallon bag, whatever, of chicken stock. So that's it. It's that easy. I hope you guys will try this at home. You can find the recipe at SammyCone.com or again, PurdueFarms.com backslash SammyCone for that 10% savings. Before I go, I need you to know to speak up and share your story. We may not all be gifted storytellers like Jim Troiano, but I'm guessing many of us have felt like a square pumpkin in a round world at one point in our lives. There are two important reminders I'll be taking away from our time together today. Speak up and share your story. You may not be able to write all the injustices of the world, but you can speak up about what you see going on in front of you. And while people may be able to argue against our opinions, they can never take away our story. 1 Peter 3.15 tells us to always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope you have, but do so with gentleness and respect. We always have more we can learn, especially from each other. When we speak up and share our stories, we get to witness the exponential effect our own, experience, our own experiences can also have on those around us. I want to thank my guests for sharing their knowledge and gifts so freely with us today. And I want to thank each of you for helping shape what this show is. Have a great day. Make sure you make it great. And do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.